Hello folks and welcome to another episode of the 10 minute modeling challenge. My name is Stefan Passion, also known as Infensia, and today I finally got my merch. So it's e to extrude S to scale, like I've been saying for all these, uh, well, I was gonna say 30 episodes, but I've probably been saying it for a, a lot longer than that. In my own lonesomeness, I've been saying it. E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, but now it's even on my top. I'm debating whether I should lower it a little bit. Uh, I put it deliberately high for two reasons. A, I didn't want the dreaded belly print, which apparently is a thing. And the second thing was that I wanted to be readable in the camera. So I wanted to be, but maybe I put it a bit too high. What do you guys think? Should it be a bit lower? Nipple height, maybe? Huh? I'm not sure. So uh, let me know what you think. And um, if I crop it down or if I extend it, it might look a little bit different. So um, maybe it's uh, room for both. But let me know what you think. Actually, the t-shirt quality itself is pretty good. Happy with it. I have never know whether to get large or extra large. This is a large one. Uh, ooh, nice. I also got this one. <laughs> Check that out, guys. The default cube with the cavity setting on and then the blender type of color in the background. You'll be rocking defaults now. This is the new thing. I'll put some link in the description if you want to pick these up. And I've got some more stuff coming on as well. I've got uh, the Infensia logo, I've got some hoodies coming, and I've got uh, another, well, I'm, not, I'm just gonna leave it a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll see what you think. How about that? Uh, how about that? So I'm actually gonna turn the default cube now into an aircraft carrier for episode 30 with some airplanes on it. So let's see how that goes. Should we just get started straight away? Yeah, why am I whispering? I'm not sure about that. Okay, we're ready, ready, steady. Go, ta, yes, and we're off. Scale, y-axis, let's bring it out to there maybe. Scale x, make it a little bit wider. Let's apply um, auto mirror. We need to make it a little bit symmetrical. First we have to make control R actually. Eight loop cuts maybe, and then O for proportional, get it to sharp here. And I'm gonna get a, give it a X, G, X, oop, G, X, give it a little bit of a sh shape of a boat or a ship first. Control R. Oop, wrong one. Control R, maybe two loop cuts. And then G, Y. I'm gonna do like an American style uh, without the little ski jump thing. So let's make it to there and let's bring Control Shift to like that one. Proportional off G, X, or scale X, zero first. Bring it tight into there. Control Shift select there. Slide that on in as well. And now I can switch on vertex uh, snapping here because then we can bring it out to make it more looking like an actual aircraft carrier. So I hold the control key, snap these out to there and we can move this in a little bit as well. There we go. And now let's do control shift select there, E to extrude and then do apply that modifier. And then I'm gonna bring this out now so it does look a little, little bit more like an aircraft carrier. So. Shift select these, and that one too maybe. Top view, E to extrude, R to rotate, G to move that one to there. A bit too much maybe, top view, R to rotate, that's okay. And select these, G to move that on to there. Now I'm gonna cheat a little bit, so I'm gonna do K for a knife cut, so we can do the UV coloring. Let's bring it all the way down to there and then shift select a bunch of these and then I to inset it once. Oh, I've missed a little one there. I to inset once, I to inset. Okay, it's breaking there, so I need to fix that. G, let's put that one on G, snap it to there. And now this hideous topology, uh, it's okay. <laughs> I to inset, I to inset again. And here we go now, we've got if I shift select these, I should be able to color these so it looks a little bit more like an airstrip. If I can hit them. Here we go. That's it. And uh, white color. And then here, let's do, uh, we have to extrude here as well so we can get the little control uh, bridge thing. Let's do E to extrude that on. And let's extrude these a little bit more even to get the shape there. And then here we'll do I to inset E to extrude. And then here I to inset E to extrude. So right click and do subdivide there and just do that part. I to inset E to extrude. 
how am I doing? 646, okay. Uh, e to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, S to scale. Uh, e to extrude, S to scale on the x-axis, uh, E to extrude, I to inset, E to extrude down, I to inset, E to extrude up, that should do. Uh, I to inset there, I to inset again, scale it down and do black for some color, okay. And here we have to have some lines here as well, so I'll do K, so, and C to lock it on the axis, K here again, C to lock it, K, C to lock it, so these are just going to be some guidelines, so it looks a little bit more interesting. And then here we can bring uh, this maybe back a little bit, and these forward so I can get lines here as well. Here we'll do like the catapult uh, thing, so scale X, make it black. How am I doing? 546. Okay, so here is a lift, so I to inset, E to extrude, and just make that darker. So that could be the lift. Here we should bring it in a little bit as well, looks a bit too wide. And this one too, a lot more. And this one in. Maybe I'll do some features here as well. E to extrude, make it darker, just so it looks a bit less uh, boring. <laughs> uh, we can bring these in as well, a little bit more navel sea like. And here, I to inset, E to extrude. So, okay, that should do it. Uh, now we need an airplane as well, don't we? Oh, I have to color these lines. Missed it. So five minutes to go. That should do. Uh, G to color those white. And now let's make an airplane. So shift right click here, tab out of edit mode, shift uh, A and then add a cube. Scale it down. Auto mirror that on. Scale it down more. <laughs> tab. Uh, actually, control A. I have to apply the uh, scale because I scaled it out of edit mode. So here, scale Y, scale it down, and 432, I have to make an airplane. <laughs> How's that gonna work? So maybe like that, something uh, like F18 or F14 looking. <laughs> Good luck with that. Uh, e to extrude, I'm lucky it's low poly and it's gonna be small scale. <laughs> I to inset, bring that out, E to extrude. S to scale, top view, G to move, R to rotate. And here, I to inset, S to scale on the Z axis only, top view, E to extrude, S to scale, and there. Okay, scale X, we should bring this out a little bit longer maybe. Scale Y, okay, that's gonna have to be okay. So here's our engine or something. <laughs> we'll do uh, select these and move them in, I think. Okay, after all it is low poly, three minutes ago. So E to extrude, S to scale, bring it back. I to inset, E to extrude. Control plus, let's make it dark in the engine. Oh, I forgot to put the shading, I have to put the same material on there, so there we go. Eight. A, A to select everything on the left side here, scale A, oh, A scale zero to get the UVs down, color the plane a bit brighter. Now I can color this inside here, control plus, get it black and the intake, we need an air intake as well. Oh, it's gonna be Top Gun 2 soon, isn't it? So this is a bit suiting, that'll be exciting. It's only about 30 years since the last one, 248. Okay, now we need to make a cockpit or something. Uh, maybe we'll bring that down a little bit to there. Oh yeah, we need those uh, rear wings here as well. So, I to inset. Bring it up a little bit. No. Uh, e to extrude, S to scale. And bring that back. Maybe we'll bring this forward so it looks so GG. No. Okay, let's bring it there. And a cockpit. Maybe I should make it a little bit longer in the front, should I? There. And then a primitive cockpit I and then B to get the boundary thing. There we go. Control plus. So let's make a dark glass just so. Again, it's going to be a small scale thing, so probably won't see too much of it anyway, hopefully. So that's our airplane. It's too big. So let's top view, scale it down maybe to there. 
and R to rotate it. Let's put a few of them here. So Shift D, Shift D, and one's just coming up on. Okay, it's too big. Maybe Shift D, Shift D. Oh yeah, they fold the wings, so that one's just folded up the wings. We should be all right. Okay, uh, 137. Let's do put some more here. Shift D, R to rotate. Let's line some up here as well. And then one's going to take off, so R to rotate that one. Put it there. And then one's coming in for landing. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, comma, and then do normal. No, comma, and then do local. Rotate G. So that's it. And here we have time. One minute to go. We can make... Uh, this the little uh, things that they fold up to protect, I think. Okay. Okay. Very manual labor here. So I to inset, E to extrude it down, G to make it a little bit darker, and let's fold this thing up as well. It's like one of those things to protect them from the protect them from the blast. <laughs> Scale Y. should do it and 30 seconds to go we'll put a, little, a few more features here item set alt e to extrude long face normals darker here as well item set e to extrude let's put something here as well just do item set e to extrude just a few more features and then uh, an antenna s to scale to extrude there we go it's a wide antenna <laughs> and we're up 10 minutes 10 minutes gone and we've got something that could resemble a little bit of an aircraft carrier <laughs> possibly how many and one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven airplanes but i guess they could be um, a few in there as well inside the hole hole inside the ship there we have it we got ourselves an aircraft carrier and a bunch of airplanes a little control tower, some blast protection there, catapult strip, some in, I don't know what these are, just some random features and some uh, landing guidelines for them. So that's all that the 10 minutes allowed really this time. And uh, I'm okay with it. Uh, again, I've got no idea about the proportions or if it would even float, but I think we should be all right. This week's tip is gonna be, if you're gonna do some slicing and cutting with the K tool, so K, just if you wanna get it somewhat straight, press C to constrain it to an axis and it'll go diagonally or straight. It's pretty useful. So once you've done it, you press enter and then you've got a pretty straight line there. That was a quick tip, wasn't it? I'm going to say some names now, probably wrong, but Jamoho, Skalzam, 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 Arnavstar, DJ Grow or DJ Grew, Tyler Beckley, you also suggested an aircraft carrier. Quite a few of you actually suggested an aircraft carrier and that spans back five months ago. Wow from episode eight. How come I haven't done this earlier? Sorry for keeping you waiting, guys. And to stick with the airplane theme, I've done the 747 helicopter and now also the aircraft carrier. So getting a bit carried away here with the aircraft stuff. So I'm gonna have to switch to something else. For a while there it was pirate stuff. Now it's airplane stuff. So I'm a bit slow with the suggestions, but just keep them coming and I'll do my best to see if I can uh, make whatever you're, uh, you want. Hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm closing in on the 100K now, I can't believe it. So um, the, the silver play button is within my grasp, within my reach. <laughs> so I'm gonna grab it soon. And for that, I'm gonna do the celebration. I'm gonna try to do that 24 hour character live stream. Have a really good week now, and I'll see you back next Thursday for another 10 minute modeling challenge. Bye for now. Wash and wear. Smell and marks will disappear after washing. <laughs> e to extrude, S to scale. <laughs> Check this out, guys. Never delete. <laughs> All right, let's try this one too. No, I'm still working for the diffuser that I was gonna put in my sound room to record some sound effects. That took a bit longer than I expected. So, as you can see, I've uh, sawed about 500 pieces, uh, different lengths, and then I've sanded most of them. Well, no, I haven't. I actually sanded only half of them so far, so I've still got a couple of hours of sandings to do. And then I actually only made a fourth or a quarter of how many I was originally thinking about doing. I was gonna have 2,000 pieces. So I'm gonna settle for the 500 first and assemble uh, something that's about one by one meters in size. And then I'm gonna see how that affects the sound a little bit. Do some sound testing and record that as well, of course.